another episode of Jack Foreman, Pet Psychic. And now, please welcome Pet Psychic, Jack Foreman. Thank you, audience. Now, everyone, join with me and just breathe in these scented candles that I have surrounding this grand piano. All together now, here we go. So soothing. My job as your pet psychic is to help you understand the strange things that your animal kids do. And now, let's meet our next parrot and see what's going on with their animal kid. Joining us from Coolifornia, say hello, me monkey nods, to Mackenzie. Hi, Mackenzie. How you doing? Good. Great. Welcome to the monkey house. Are you excited to finally uncover why your animal does the strange things that he or she does? Yes. Me too. I. Who is your pet? Yeah. I wonder why um Sam eats crabs and that she poops out colorful poop. Whoa! <laughs> well, you just jumped right into the fast lane. Wow! It's like we're driving on the autobahn right now. Hang on, Mackenzie. Wait, who is your pet? Is it a dog or a cat or another animal? It's a dog. Okay, what's your dog's name? Lily. Lily. Okay, so Lily, your dog, eats <laughs> crayon. Do I, really it, crayons? Yeah. Okay, Lily eats crayons. And hang on, I've got a container of crayons right here. Let's see, Crayola 64 pack. Okay, they say non toxic right there on the container. So I'm just going to assume this is okay, but uh, you know, run this by your grown ups just to make sure they're okay. But your dog's eating crayons. And then, wait, what happens next, Mackenzie? I feel like I missed a little something there. She, she pooped out colorful poop. Wow. <laughs> this is the reason that I got into the pet psychic game to begin with, Mackenzie. <laughs> this is it. This is the grand golden fleece of pet psychic calls. I don't know if it'll ever be this great again. Your dog, Lily, eats crayons, and then after eating the crayons, poops out rainbow-colored poop. Do I understand you correctly? Yeah. Okay. And your question is... Uh, like, you're thinking about trying this, and you just want to know how many crayons should you eat? Is that what you're asking about, Mackenzie? No. Okay, that's good. I would not recommend that. And the serious XM attorneys want me to remind everyone, do not try this at home, under any circumstances. So what do you want to know, Lily? Or what do you want to know, Mackenzie? What are you asking about? Um, Lily, why? Yeah, well, like, why? Like, why she does this? Yeah. That's a good question. Boy, because, um, you know, I, I was young once, hard to believe, but it's true, Mackenzie, back in a decade known as the 1980s, there was a young lad with the same name that I have now, and I have tasted crayon, and I don't know about you, have you ever tasted crayon before, Mackenzie? No. Yeah, it, it doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes like a candle. It, it tastes like wax. It's not good. It, it looks like it might be good. It's colorful. It's not. It's non-toxic, but it's also not delicious. So there's no reason to eat a crayon. So that does, it's a bit of a head-scratcher. I think we're going to need to go to the source here, Mackenzie. Is Lily there with you right now? Yeah. Oh, she is great. Could you do me a favor and hold, hold the phone up to Lily's ear so that I can talk to her, Mackenzie? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. oh, I hear Lily breathing. Hi, Lily. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily over here. Hi. Yeah. I'm the voice coming out of the object that's being held up to your ear. It's me, Jack, the pet psychic from Life of the Monkey House. Hi, Lily. Okay, so hang on a second, Lily. First of all, I just need a fact check here. Are you he, really... He's deaf. What's that? He, he's deaf. Wait, Lily's deaf? Yeah. Well, I, I'm making a psychic conversation with Lily. Um, but that's interesting. How do, you, how do you get Lily's attention? Is it hard to get her attention if she's hard of hearing? Yell. You gotta yell, okay. <laughs> well, I don't want to yell too much because I don't want to ruin the mood here in the uh, the pet psychic ward. But I'm making a psychic connection, so even though I'm adding voice to my words, I'm connecting with Lily mentally uh, through my telepathic connection. 
So, uh, Lily, Mackenzie wants to know, why are you eating all these crayons? And why, pray tell, do you have all that rainbow-colored poop? Uh-huh. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, like in New York. Yeah, yeah, I went to the MoMA. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mackenzie, I'm almost done. Uh, yes, Lily? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, like Jackson Pollock? Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. I don't know if they're going to sell, but I'll let Mackenzie know. Maybe she'll be your agent. Okay, Mackenzie, can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, that Lily is a cute dog. Wow, what a sweetheart. And she confirmed it. She is eating crayons, and that does lead to rainbow color poop. Um, how would you rate the grossness of that, Mackenzie? Is it a little bit gross or really gross? It's, it's weird. It's, it's weird. Really okay, weird. So, so really weird. Not, not gross so much as weird in your uh, estimation. Yeah, well, that, that's good uh, because that's what people like to see when they're picking out art. I mention art, Mackenzie, because your dog, Lily, does not think of herself as a competitive eater or a creative pooper. No, no, no. Lily sees herself as an artist. Isn't that interesting, Mackenzie? I kept asking her questions. I was saying, Lily, uh, why are you eating crayons? And she kept saying, my art, my art. I, I'm a, I have to keep working on my art. I'm like, wait, what are you talking about? The reason Lily's eating all those crayons is because she's making works of art, of art in every poop. Isn't that beautiful, Mackenzie? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> Her goal, uh, weird, for sure. But that's the premise of today's show. Pets are all weird in the brain. That's just part of being an animal. All animals are weird in the brain. Here's what Lily wants. Her goal, you live in California. Now, there are some great museums in California. In fact, there's been a great Jasper Johns exhibition in, in California in the Los Angeles area. There's, there's a lot going on there. But anyone who knows anything about art... It's all about New York City. Lily really wants to have one of her poops featured in the Museum <laughs> of Modern Art. Isn't that exciting that one day she might be a, a museum artist with one of her works right there on display at the Museum of Modern Art at the MoMA. Wouldn't that be amazing, Mackenzie? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, here's what you're going to need to do. Uh, do you know, you live in California, there are lots of these people. Do you know any agents, Mackenzie? Do you have an agent? No. No, you're like the one person in California without an agent. Well, you're going to need to find an agent, one who specializes in artwork. That's right, because Lily's going to need representation. She's going to need to make a lot of these. She's going to need to hand out a lot of business cards, get featured in lots of magazines. And uh, specifically dog magazines. You know, like the ASPCA has a quarterly magazine. Maybe you could get Lily's uh, poop artwork uh, on the cover of that magazine. Maybe an in-flight magazine on one of the lesser airlines. You know, the ones that can't afford art by uh, humans. Maybe they can afford art by dogs. <laughs> Eventually, she's going to be like the Banksy of uh, rainbow-colored poop. And she's going to be able to get one of her rainbow, uh, beautiful crayon poops in a gallery wouldn't that be amazing wouldn't you be so proud of her Mackenzie if she finally made it to a gallery you would be great and at the, the big opening uh, when everyone's gathered around looking at each one of her pieces on display it's gonna smell terrible in there will that be exciting too we're gonna have to give the hair spray <laughs> yeah it, it'll be terrible you gotta give everyone air freshener like a can of Glade with every admission or people have to wear face masks that's, you know, that's what the great artists have done over the years. The great artists really, they stick it to the establishments. You know, they, they turn the art community on its ear. They do something new. Like when Banksy shredded that artwork uh, that had just won on auction, your dog Lily is going to change the art world forever simply by pooping out rainbows. Mackenzie, are you excited about this? Yeah. I'm really excited too, audience. We've just met the newest and hottest artist coming out of California. It's Lily, the Rainbow Poopin' Dog. Oh, Mackenzie, what an honor. Thanks for calling.